that was the credits with a lollipop. A new classic from the 50s. Hope you enjoyed it. That's my new intro. Or this unique intro since I won't be doing it again. It seems so. I've uh, got three different intros for three different videos that I hope to upload tonight. Or during the night, that is. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Morris90, and today I will be playing on the Catherine Pass map. And uh, I will be playing with Uncan and Arctic Revits and Coxmate. So it's 3v3 with Stick Revits and Coxmate. And uh, I also noticed that uh, Steam posted that. Men of War Assault Squad will be uh, available on... Uh, or will be... Uh, yeah. It will be on the GameReplays.org website, basically. And uh, here I just capture this point, being super aggressive. Uh, my opponent only bought one guy there. So yeah, they are posting on the GameReplays.org website, and... I tried to do like Tycosel did it and uh, in bed and YouTube uh, link so that you will be able to watch it on that web page, but I was not able, it uh, bugged or something. And uh, I only can see the. Um, I don't see any video from YouTube, I only see some. Uh, the link, the embedding link that I was supposed to copy into the topic, which I did, but it didn't work. I want to see the embed link. So I wonder if anybody know what I did wrong. Please tell me. So I can correct that mistake. And yeah. There's Panzer 1. Easily countered, as I told you in, last, in some last video. With anything above 50 cal. And here my opponent is doing something quite well, he's chasing down my infantry. Perhaps I should have let my infantry lie down. It would make it hard for him to chase him down, but yeah, he's chasing down my infantry. So I choose my SMG guy, tell him to pick up an anti-tank grenade and toss it on that Panzer 1. It's down. And to counter that uh, Panzer 1, I bought a T26 earlier. And I will be uploading I believe it is three videos. It's three or two, three videos this night, and uh, at least some, at least two of them will be of Soviet Union, since someone posted on the DMS forums that Soviet Union is a rubbish nation, and that Germany kicks their asses. And I just thought it was hilarious to watch or read, since it wasn't a reading thingy. Well, it's basically saying that the uh, T-34 suck, nothing can kill tigers or panthers, it's really unbalanced, and anything can take out the T-34. And uh, just to summarize everything, he's full of crap. And he can challenge me if he wants to. I will kick his ass or something. Yeah. Well, he uh, thinks that Soviet Union sucks, and he's uh, bringing up examples from his uh, retarded book that he has. Saying that the T-34 was pawned by the 88s, and the Panthers from a thousand yards, and who gives a shit, cause... Sorry about that. Who gives uh, a boomer about that, cause a thousand yards is a really long way, or a thousand meters, that is. And I'm telling my guys to get down because there's a sniper somewhere. And yeah, if you try to hit something that's probably moving in a thousand yards, good luck. Uh, most tank kills was uh, made uh, I read it somewhere. So you free to roast me for saying this. And most tank kills were made from about 400 to 600 yards or something. Which means that uh, most tanks can penetrate each other. A uh, great advantage, which is not displayed in this game, but which the Germans had, was their 
gunners, their, their gunners' sights. Uh, it was uh, quite difficult for the T the early T third force, I believe, at least the early T third force, for them to aim properly because their aims was quite bad. But the the Germans was not they had really good ones, so they could spot the enemy and shoot them easier. And uh, what goes for tank combat in uh, Second World War? Numbers win over not numbers. No, well, numbers win over quality. That is the day's lesson with more. <coughs> so yeah, for instance, if you fight in a forest or a village, it's whoever finds the other guy first who wins or gets the shot off first. And that is the truth. Not that I was in the war myself, but from what I've learned, and uh, my opponent today will be quite good. I can't remember his name, but you should remember it, since my guys are dying from snipers, which I tried to find, but I'm just. Tossing in reinforcements. And there goes the sniper. So yeah. This is the second time I commentated this. I forgot to put set the put the mic on the first time, so I'm a bit a little tired. So I have to pour up something to drink. Well, you have to watch that and listen to my voice. At least I got in-game sound now. I managed it. Don't ask me how, because I won't. Or I can explain if you want to, but if you have the same problem, but you probably won't, because there are not many who post videos. Sip. Yeah, my opponent. He's attacking me to take back his point. And there's a Stug in the background and a pack for the one. Yeah. Yep. And he's shelling me. I'm hiding with my guys behind cover. I'll take a thing. And uh, at this point, my opponent is doing everything he should. He's doing really well, in my opinion. Protecting his tank with infantry. Putting his tank in a position where he can fire at the point. Not get killed by my tank. So I counter it by buying my own tank. And here's killing off my last infantry. At this point, he's doing everything what that he should be, and you might wonder how will I turn this around? Well, he hasn't got that much infantry at the point, which he perhaps should be doing, because since he, as you can see, he's pinning me down. I'm not having any guys in the ridge shooting at him, so he can basically just. He can basically just take the hill if he has enough people there and keep me off his point, but he's not doing that, so... That's th something he could do, but he's doing fine at this point. And uh, by not doing that, he's not preventing me from reinforcing, reinforcing this point. Then my T-26 is self-destroyed. I actually uh, checked the controls in the game, and uh, according to them, if I double L, my gas will decrew a unit, but they also self-destructed. That's quite fun. And my T-34, 57, takes out that shoot. Nice little treat for my T-34.
Yeah, so here are my reinforcement come. As you can see, I have not have. Or so you might have noticed. I have not had much infantry at this point for 20 30 seconds, no more than that, 40 seconds. He really should have uh, taken it back completely. He's a bit back towards it, uh, defensive. Uh, he cares a lot for his units, it seems. So he's not taking any risks. And, uh, if you don't take risks, you won't get them. And another thing he doesn't do is not to do something neat. And uh, he has his entire squad there. He should have put them behind those sandbags. Which he didn't. So, yeah. Another thing he didn't do that much is tossing grenades. But he's a good op 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 opponent. Op 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 and he has a mortar in the background, which is really good positioned. So, you can learn from my opponent how to attack a position. He's doing the he does, he's doing it the defense or the uh, good way you can say. He will uh, he's destroying my entire squad. And at this point he has uh, actually has we can And he's uh, he's doing a very good job at this point. He should be uh, occupying the top, at least get somebody over the top so you can see that there are no enemies there. He's just sitting there, and even though he's, uh, well at this point he actually has his point, but he should be doing more, and there's a veteran sniper for you, blown up, he should be doing more, uh, perhaps attacking me, since he's annihilating my entire squad, and yes, I have shown no sign of having reinforcements, or people, further back in my line. So if you watch this, where I was facing some Menemekman guy, uh, uh, that's my advice to you. Uh, be a bit more aggressive. Toss nades. And, uh, yeah, scout some, so you can Perhaps anticipate enemy moves and such. But uh, you're doing much better than the usual person is. And here I take out this Panzer III, which just happens to stand next to a mortar which has been troubling me for some while. I actually got my own mortar by this time. And here is an assault to take out that mortar, which I haven't realized is dead yet. And I don't think it's dead yet, so I'm tossing nades there. Let's see if it dies. Can it die? Uh, yeah, I killed. So, uh, two or three hand grenades can destroy a mortar or heavy MG. A uh, little tip for you there. So yeah, now I'm capping the point, and the reason I'm capping the point is stopping me is because he's sailing for something, which you will see soon. When I right about now, I uh, at this point I'm too aggressive with my unit. I'm capping the point. I should not have been attacking, but I'm just so pissed off by his AT gun and I thought perhaps I can shoot it but I get shot by a tiger which he was saving for not that it's a bad thing to save he took out my thingy and there it's how my mortar to continue firing because my original plan was to take out his mortar with it And here I'm spreading out my snipers so they won't get shot by one bullet. What a shit. And here I got some 80 infantry too. In case he uh, charges over the hill, I will shoot him with it. 
And what was I just thinking about? Yes, um, he's not. He's a tiger at this point. Perhaps he should have bought a tiger. Uh, it's a good thing to counter my uh, T34, but now that my T34 is dead, he should have. I don't know. Drove up to that hill on the left behind the map. Because his uh, tank is not doing anything. I'm trying to save for a bit of a counter. <sighs> the cheapest counter I can find. Because sometimes you can counter a thing by not. by denying it the fight, but still being there. Which a lot of people have done. There you see some great micro. He sees that my mortar is firing. So he, tell, he tells his guys to run away from uh, building sandbags. And here I'm repositioning my mortar and believe that I can reach those guys. Yes, the uh, tiger. Uh, he bought it to destroy my T34, I believe. But now it's just standing there, so it's not providing an infantry support role. Which means that uh, basically he has. I don't know, yes my T-3757 uh, have paid off for me. I killed a Stug in a Panzer III and disabled a mortar in a kind of way. In a kind of way. And uh, so my has, mine has paid off. His Tiger has destroyed my T-34, but uh, that's uh, the Tiger is much more expensive. So by not killing infantry with it, or forcing me in any way to do anything, it's just standing there, doing nothing, and worth nothing. It's just taking up the uh, safe points. But it's, it's control points, of, I don't know what it is. So yeah, you should have uh, made something with it. Perhaps give it the, giving it to the guy in the center so we could push the center. Stopping him from uh, doing it, doing anything with his tiger. And here I believe I was checking the range to the tiger, thinking that I could shoot it, but it's uh, quite a long way away, away, away. And he has brought a nibble of all. So right now, I can tell you that he's not going for a veteran tiger. Uh, but uh, looking at the points, he's... Uh, or, he's, he's right. Because uh, this will not be a very much longer game. Or well, the tiger won't make... Uh, uh, never mind. This map uh, provides... A good uh, way of play, let's call that. It's not such a good thing to have big heavy tanks which have long reloading times and uh, having uh, being slow because they can't use the terrain to their advantage and uh, being agile to drive between rocks and stuff. So if I were him, I would have gotten a Panzer IV, perhaps, he would have gotten the job done, or a Hetzer. That's what I was looking for, it's a perfect country for Hetzers, since there are rocks and stuff which you can use to protect your flanks. And yeah. I never realized what that, uh, what that half, or whatever, the shit car, I call it. Crap car, that's the word. What that crap car is doing. I never saw any artillery or an 88 or something like that. So I have no idea what it brought into the map. 
and snipers keep shooting me. I haven't uh, pointed this out yet, I believe uh, he chose this uh, high point, which was a good tactical move since he now can shoot down on my guys. And now he's driving away, why is he driving away? Hmm, never mind. I'm chasing a ghost named Sniper here. Actually, find one, but I do not manage to kill him. And that pisses me off! I hate snipers, that's why I use them. Well, I use them because other, other people do. <laughs> Not very mature of me, but yeah, that's me. But my. And uh, this week, this. Um, what's it called? This tournament of Men of War Sword Code will be starting on this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! So perhaps I will be providing you with some or I will be providing you with some games but I don't know if it's it's gonna be up on Monday earliest perhaps not and hopefully I will win the game and I hope everybody cheers for me cause I'm the funniest guy around, I don't know <laughs> I don't know I should cheer for me. Cause I'm cheering for you or something. Learning you. <laughs> I actually got something on my mind. Uh, the guy I know, Jan. He's, he can't afford the Men of War yet, just yet. He's went for salary, but I was thinking of a series of teaching him how to play. Which uh, means that he, uh, I would be watching him play. So he will be making a lot of new mistakes, which you in turn perhaps can see with the what? Perhaps you can recognize your own mistakes by watching him. And uh, he's on a smarter part, so he will probably learn the game quite quickly, as Coxmate did. Although. He has not reached my level yet. And here are uh, two points leave. Bad manners to you, I say. Leaving... Oh, I gotta watch his name though. <laughs> Leaving the last player. What's it called? Kanem or something, I don't know. Kanem. Bad manners to leave. Stay and uh, do crazy stuff. If you're losing. It can't hurt. So yeah, basically, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the uh, noob series. I don't know how to do it though, so I don't know if it, if it will be up. If I have to play games with them, or something. Perhaps I can do a remote control with my computer and like. Move my mouse around a lot. That's a good idea. It's probably really uh, complicated, but could work. And in the meantime, I'm gonna hack his computer. Unlock all the porn. Well, this uh, video is coming close to its end. At this point, my opponent is just charging forward since he has nothing to lose. And his opponent has left. So he did good in this match. A good player. And use grenades more. He will win more. And... Uh, yeah, should have made better use of your tiger. So I'll say... Good game to our opponents. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please. Comment. Tell me how to embed movies in uh, things in YouTube. The thing I explained in the beginning. You don't have to, but I would appreciate it. You will get a gold star on my site. <laughs> my little site. Or Anken site. So yeah. And I will uh, see you next time. Which will probably be quite soon. So, bye bye.